Hey traders, welcome to pittrades.com, the daily report. It is uh, Thursday just after the market close. I hope everybody uh, had a great day today, uh, especially in the markets. A um, couple things tonight uh, besides levels. Uh, I want to talk about this market. We're getting in this what I would call no man's land. It's really uh, in a uh, sideways grind type of market and we'll look uh, and work our way from the top down and take a look at this uh, what, what would be known as a top-down approach um, also guys it's important to, to pick your spots in these markets and, and as we always talk trade less earn more uh, today we're able to uh, wrap up about 12 points in the market depending on where you ex exited your uh, trades um, and you know we did that on a couple trades we didn't have to trade a lot to get that and um, that's the way you should trade and when you pick your spots you got to know you have the risk reward there you got to know that you can uh, uh, you know have the potential of a larger trade um, and that's exactly what we did today now just like what happened yesterday we picked our spots one spot was wrong we got stopped out however we picked another spot uh, that we were eyeing and we had ta talked about earlier that if it, if it failed we were gonna get short into that and we were able to pick up a very nice uh, move off there regain all of our losses and of course end the day with a winner so that's the way you trade guys you don't uh, don't run your your um, your accounts up with uh, trading in and out all day long because it'll just eat you up especially if you're a small tr account trader so uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on in the markets and where we are. Uh, I'm going to start with the weekly chart here. We, we went ahead and we rallied hard. We slammed back down in basically the top of this this little range that we are in. And now we had a little bounce. Now we're working on what's, if you notice here in the weekly, we're working on an inside week, which is fairly powerful. Okay, When the when inside weeks usually break out, they typically break out and move for a pretty good clip in one direction. Uh, that would be great if we set that up for next week. Uh, however, today we sort of traded the same way. Um, actually, this includes the Globex here, but if you look at the regular trading hours, we traded actually inside of yesterday's range. And again, that's setting up for breakout. Now, will it happen in the Globex session? We'll just have to wait and see. Or will it happen, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, next week early and stuff. We're also setting up right now on a daily basis here this little uh, this little pennant at the top here. Um, you can call it a wedge pennant, whatever you want to call it. It's just it's basically coiling, getting ready to break. Which way it breaks, it'll probably move, and this will be correlated again with the uh, the weekly move, which is in a a pretty good uh, little coil right now. Now let's go take a look at where this thing could go if we do break um, and some great targets. I've got some good targets lining up here. We're right in the middle here, guys. This is what I call a no trade zone. I don't like, I, I don't want to see this market um, long. I said the last night I didn't want to see it until we got above 54, but right now it looks like the 50, the 44 is going to be the line in the sand for the upside. If we get above the 45, the 44 and start trading that way, we should go up. I've got a target at 51.50 uh, up to the 55 area, uh, which is our, our regular zone. We get above that, then we have another target at 59. That's a really good target. And then, uh, of course, uh, you could probably look for the 67, which is last week's high. However, I do like a better zone up in the 76, 78 area. Um, and that could happen uh, next week if we go that direction. Now, if we start to move down here, which it looks like in some respect we're, we're setting up this little uh, uh, bear flag right here on a 30-minute chart. If we do uh, break down to this level, I definitely like the uh, 20 down the 18. I got another target at 13 and, of course, the uh, 1209. If we get below that, I have one at the 1192 down there, but I don't suspect that will happen tomorrow. So with that, guys, uh, I hope everybody has has a great Friday. Um, trade your plan. Uh, make sure you have your target set up. Your risk reward ratios are all set up. And uh, if you're out uh, trading uh, early tomorrow um, and you're, gone, you're done trading early tomorrow, should I say, then I hope everybody has a nice weekend. Otherwise, uh, trade well tomorrow and we will talk to you on Sunday night. Take care.